somebody kept forgetting stuff. Jack's chicken. So I got a bratwurst. How are you people? My pork? Dress legend? Hello, hello everyone. We just docked at Amber Cove. Look at the wind farm. All of hands. I don't know if that, if that was there. I don't remember. I don't remember it being there when we were back, back here in what, 2019? Was it? I don't know if that's new, but look. Those fans must be huge. The other cool part is, if we zoom back out, there's a rainbow right there. You can tell we zoomed in a bit more. It's like partially raining, but not raining much, like light drizzle. And it's forming this uh, rainbow right there. So, huh, we, we actually found the end of the rainbow, and it leads to Amber Cove. So this is Amber Cove, right here. We were at the Lido deck, having a quick breakfast before heading down there. Quick walkthrough is, there's the ramp, supporting the ship, you go in there. And on the left side are all the various shops. There you go, there. Um, all the various shops. That then lead to the bus terminal right over here where they'll pick you up and take you where you want to be in your excursion. And there's a road and here's a beautiful mountainside. If you guys really want, you can also go up this little trail. Let me see if I can focus in for a minute. There, and it leads to an observation deck with a bar. We can have drinks or order some food. And um, if you go right, you're gonna go towards this little, almost like a resort kind of like area. Let me see if I can focus. There you go. Where there's a pool and uh, music and a bar. Oh my god, my phone's having trouble focusing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There, right there. So you just chillax. We just got off the ship. And believe me, it was an ordeal. Because a certain somebody kept forgetting stuff I was thinking we like were at, five uh, times over. I was thinking we were at a private island and we didn't need our um, money. We thought we would just use our card. That was not the case. Hey, Mario, why don't you lift your hat a little bit so people I can see your eyes? Oh. Really? <laughs> then you ruined you ruin the whole Luigi and Mario. I'll put it back on, but I can't see over here. Because people will stare at me and be like, oh, no. why is Luigi by himself? And it's like awkward. Well, look, we just figured we're not going to do an excursion today. We're just going to go hang out in Amber Coats. We've never really done that before. Crap, I forgot my flip-flops again. There you see. Item number five, I'm telling you. I'm number six now. I have my sandals. Who's counting? I'm just switching to my flip-flops. But anyhow, I thought we were in a private island. So I didn't think I needed any cash or money. But I forgot this is not a private island. Sorry for the shaky camera footage. Don't have the fancy gimbal. Because it weighs oh, a ton. Because it oh, weighs a ton. Gonna be shaky. It's going to be shaky. A little shake and bake. Great. Don't hurt nobody. Y'all might not see this video. It might not be good. Oh, no. We're still going to publish it. Because our loyal viewers are there, committed to watch the adventure. Look, right there. That's one of the excursions. If you can see, with the little well, luggies. I should have brought my backpack. This could have gone in the backpack and we would have had free hands. Oh, let me zoom out. I just screwed up. How did I screw up? We should have put these in the backpack. The backpack is in my and backpack. I'm carrying them. No, it wouldn't fit. That, those things are huge. I need two hands. <laughs> All right, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll hire a, a, a Sherpa. We'll hire a Sherpa next time no, to carry two. your towels. And right there, there's people kayaking. Oops. Whoa, some traffic here. Hey, they cycle fast. So here's a aerial map of the port side in Amber Cove. And like I said, um, to the left is various shops all the way up to the bus port. And then to the right is that little aqua zone containing pools and areas to lounge around. And 
here are the cabanas that I was showing up in the Lido deck. It's neat. I wonder how much they cost. They probably like three or four hundred dollars. You think? Yeah, probably hundred five. That's a lot of money. And you probably get a drink. Mm. That's uh probably cheaper than Coco K and whatnot. Do you think? Yeah. Here's a shot of the ship. Carnival celebration. We just took out our collapsible book bag, and these are very handy. She got a, a pretty good brand one that has like a, it's, made, it's still thin, but it's made out of a strong material. So it's thin enough so that it's able to fold, able to fold to like the size of a, like a, like a big wallet, let's say. But then when you're out on these trips, you can expand it out into a regular book bag and it comes in handy when you're, you're carrying stuff. So right here is where you meet for your various excursions and you're also able to book some of them last minute. Oh, and that's the path to the bar? The Sky well, a Bar. bar. There's a couple bars here. The that's sky the bar. one that's up at the top of the mountain. Yep. Yeah. We did that last time and we got yucca fries. Yucca. Yucca? Yeah, they're not yucca. They're not yucca. But, uh, it's pronounced yucca. No, I think it's yuca. If it, tell us in the chat. Well, in Spanish, in it's yuca. Oh, it's so a oh, so yucca. Oh, people dressed up. And here are some of the various things to order over here at the Aqua Zone. And their drinks. And their drinks. Of course, they're playing uh, merengue. That's the native kind of song over here. Dominican Republic. You like merengue, baby? You do? She doesn't. your thoughts about the the uh, pool area it was nice it was really good we actually did an upgrade which we probably shouldn't have done we paid fifty dollars um, and it gave us an umbrella it gave us front uh, in front of the pool uh, um, where the band and stuff and the swim up bar was and um, we had like a cocktail server guy that came around but we weren't really there because we were mostly in the pool. So next time we probably wouldn't do that. Hanging out with Oh, and it uh, included Wi-Fi and it included two um, rides on the slides. Yeah, we ended up paying, what, $50 for $50. both of us? So um, for so as much like, as we were in the pool the whole like, time, we probably wouldn't do that. Probably again. not again. But it did give us it shade. Was, it was worth it. For the umbrella. Yeah, if you want to sit in an umbrella, then that's definitely worth it. But... We were mostly in the pool the whole time, but uh, we were here with like a group. So yeah, I mean it depends. If you're with a group, then maybe you want to hang out with them. If you're within, you know, that's a couple. Yeah, if we or were a just the unit. two of us, we probably that would have been probably worth it. But yeah. Today it wasn't really. But now we're headed back because it doesn't include food or anything. So we're going back to the ship and 
get some lunch and yep. relax for a little bit. Yeah, and uh, the water slides were fun. I tried the water slides. She didn't. She was that again. But it's fun. It's a uh, they have um, an open slide and a, a closed tube slide, and uh, they're fun. Definitely family friendly. Family friendly. Usually, it's five bucks uh, to ride the slides all day. And somebody said the zip line was twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight dollars all day. We Price didn't did do it, up. but yeah. It used to be twenty, but now it's twenty eight dollars. So there you go. We're at the big chicken. Check out this. Look at that. Shaquille O'Neal's hand, look at the comparison. How big that is. Yeah. It's a big dude. It's also good. Barbecue ranch. And then I'm gonna get some shack. Shack sauce, the toppings they have, jalapeno slaw, potato salad, they're out. I got uh, house made sweet spicy pickles. We got ourselves. Shack's chicken. And this is the MDE, which is just a plain chicken with shack sauce, pickles, and then I. Ooh, this is really hot. You might have to go. I would go get your food and I come back. You can't? It's really hot. You're supposed to eat it hot. Oh. I can't even lift it. Look how hot it is. Yeah, but don't be so sissy. Gotta dive it. Stick in there. Um, so I added the mustard cheese onto it. Oh wow. Oh my god, it's so hot. Like hot temperature hot. Well maybe you'll you'll burn your tongue. Alright, well, All right. we'll come back. So let's, we'll, well, let's take you're it. gonna go for it? Alright. Look at that, a trooper. Mm. That was I'm impressed. It's very crispy. The chicken is very, very, very crispy. Is it dry? Mm -mm. That's not my fear that it's dry, but I maybe it was dry. just the bad previous batch. No, I also had chicken nuggets you can get. I have chicken strips, but I think it's very good. And they have a spicy one. There's a couple of different ones. This is the one that wasn't spicy. What kind of sauce you got on there? It's Shaq's hot sauce, and that's what this is right here. Mm -hmm. so, this is Shaq sauce. So let's taste it. Like, uh, does it have a kick to it? It's like a barbecue mixed with mayonnaise. It's sweet. Oh, it's pretty much sweet? Uh -huh. oh, okay. And then what else did you get? The other sauce. This is a barbecue ranch. Try that. So yeah, that's sweet. It's not um, spicy at all. Mm. That's just a ranch sauce that has a hint of barbecue in it. So they both have barbecue. Out of both of them, which one do you prefer? That one? The shack, shack sauce? Yeah, and that's what's on this chicken sandwich. So all in all, I would definitely, um, I would get this again. I like it. You I like it? I think it's really good. Really good? Yeah. Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. your buddy. Look, I got, oops, I just touched them up. So I got a bratwurst. Cheese and pickles and mustard. I had no idea it had these on this show. There you go. I'm taking the video. Look at that. That's put, put, put Shaquille O'Neal's handprint. Now put it put it at the base palm. The base oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. go. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wait, 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 it's it. like like twice the size almost, right? It's crazy. That. Came back to the stateroom after eating lunch. Fun. I'm recording here. So we just got done um, eating lunch uh, at the buffet, um, and we came back to the stateroom. And look, we got a, a new friend here. Ribbit, ribbit. Later that day, certain somebody didn't tell me that she brought a wall decoration. So I had to redo our door. Yeah, I told you that. Mm. I, I told you that. There, that's how it looks like with the wall decoration. Oh, look at all these people. Look at this. Look at all these people in here. Look at what we found. Look at this. 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 Table is ready. We had to make a reservation. 
one. So here we go. Time these here. Here. Pretty cool up here. You can see all the, the cooks cooking back there. A few moments later. Oh, Raphael. Look at that. Oh, there's four of them. We Never mind. Raphael. 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 And Raphael. this is the shrimp pot stickers Raphael. with uh, an apple green salad on the side. <laughs> Sherry got some shrimp and nachos. They look like they have some beans and a little bit of meat and some beer cheese and guacamole on them and tomato. They're really good. And then I also got the shrimp, shrimp cocktail. Exactly. good. Let me try it. Let me take a bite. Tacos asador. Let's see. Tacos asador. And a popsicle. What's that? Popsicle. These are not, they're not stale. They're very good. They're very crispy. And you can taste all the flavors together. I really like that. I would love it. Yeah. I think your dish is better than mine. <laughs> I ordered from. Yours doesn't look very good. Mine does yeah. not look very appetizing. And then, in, my, in my mind, it, it, it looked different. And then I got the shrimp cocktail, so let's taste this. That's good, but you can't really mess up shrimp cocktail. Mm. Just regular shrimp, pretty yeah. much. I'm good. Wow. There you go. A few minutes later. What'd you get? This is the salmon and asparagus. Mm. It's grilled salmon, so we'll try it. And that's my pork. So let me dig into that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, I should have got steak. Okay. All right. All right, I'll show you in a second. Oh, let me let me zoom in. Oh. Oh, that's good. It's a little dry, but it's good. It's good. I'm gonna taste the sauce. Damn! Look at that! Look at that! You know how to order, man. You Take my caro. Look at that! Look at that! That's what it was with him. Yeah. yeah. This is cream spinach, actually. This isn't a sauce. It's a cream spinach. It's good. It's really good. Look at that. Look at this tiny little thing. This is the, the, the pork. And in the menu it says that they um, they prep this, the pork, for like eight hours. And it's with beans and spicy onions and some kind of cheese on it. And I'm going to try it. The thing is, like, look how small the portion this thing is. Compared to all their other dishes over there, how big. Look at that. You know, I was thinking about ordering that. Looks really good. And I got the noodles here to go with it. Nice. Already broke into the salmon here. Very nice. The salmon looks great. Look, does look good. You chose wisely, sir. All of you guys did. Look at me. <laughs> I don't know about mine. Yeah, taste mine. Maybe the pork is like very extra tender for eight hours. Now, uh oh, she's making a face. She's making a face. It's all right. It's a little dry though. It's a little dry. And it's a lot of sauce. If you like marinara, you'll like it. But I'm not a big marinara. I think is that marinara? I thought it was beans. Uh, there you go. So when you guys come to Shebang, don't, don't get don't don't fall into the same trick of getting the pork. End up getting the salmon or the beef and broccoli or the steak. Cause, uh, what I get, I don't know. You might get a little disappointed. Got here, folks. Boom, tres leche coconut edition. Is that right? This is Danny's favorite. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. What do you got? What is, what is what that? that? I don't know what it is. I, I asked him, I said, it's like a brownie. I took it with some ice cream. I don't know the name of it. It's called the Sea Bang, I think it's called. Look at this, all the cream is at the bottom. There's that's a lot a, of cream at the bottom. That's the condensed milk. 
Alright. So they're probably using coconut infused condensed milk. Here we go. How is it? What? What's wrong? Uh oh, she's making a face. Uh oh, she's making a face. This to me tastes more like a rice pudding, and I don't like rice pudding. You're, you're the one who's a, um, a dress leche connoisseur, so you might have to... Well, you, you tend to not like sweet things anyway. It's not that sweet, but it tastes more like a rice pudding to me, and I don't like rice pudding. You don't like rice pudding? Let me give it one more little... One more bite? It doesn't taste cakey, it tastes like rice. Well, at, compared to other thrust leche that you had in the past, how is it? <laughs> No? Really? Like other past tres leche was better? Let you try it. Let me right. film you eating. Yeah. You're the tres leche connoisseur over here. All right. You like it? Very good. I like it. Pretty good. Okay. Does it taste like how it's supposed you to know, taste? You know that vlogger, Paging Mr. Morrow? Yeah. He plays that song when it's like it's bliss. Yeah. Eat something nice. That's what's played in my head when I just bit, uh, took a, a bite out of this. I like it. Okay. So it does taste like maybe I just don't like Tres Leche. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah, pretty good. I like it. Because to me, it tastes like rice pudding, and I don't like rice pudding. The only rice pudding, no, bread pudding that I like is the one at Disney, at Polynesian, at Ohana. This makes up the meal of bad choices. Okay. At this restaurant. I recommend getting it. All right. Okay. Now you heard it from the connoisseur over here. <laughs> Raphael's double dipping. He's double dipping over there. <laughs> wow. Was y'all good? How was the? That was good. The appetizer, I got the asador chocolate with bread. I enjoy broccoli and beef. You can hardly uh, see the table. There's so many plates. <laughs>